Today's video is sponsored by Tokyo Tree and Sakurako. At last, I have ascended. Whoa, did we finally get moving tails in Xenoverse? Excuse me? Since when did the transformation of the legendary monkey be reduced to a non-canon format? Bardock, get your furry ass over here and tell me, can the oldest son of Kakarot also become a Super Saiyan 4? Ye yes, naturally it's a Super Saiyan 4 bargain sale. Hey yo, Vegeta! I got a massive dick! Uh, you what? I'm about to beat this bitch up. <laughs> Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Heroes expansion here on the channel. One of the greatest things that would be added to this game in the future would be the integration of Dragon Ball Heroes content. And I feel like there is a lot of potential of Super Saiyan 4 characters coming to the game first just because they were some of the first major transformations and the more popular type of characters that were integrated in Heroes initially whenever the Heroes was first emerging. So uh, big shout outs to the homie, my boy Milkman for actually creating the Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. This is one of the best looking Super Saiyan 4 Bardock mods that we have. And this is going to be actually the main showcase here is this specific Bardock because as you guys know in Dragon Ball Legends we got a new transforming Bardock. Now I've done a million mods on Bardock that transforms the Super Saiyan so I thought hey let's do something a little bit more unique and let's get a full on Super Saiyan 4 pack. Look at his arm bro it's kind of jerking for a second there. But uh, we also got a Super Saiyan 4 Adult Gohan so this is actually based off of what he does in Dragon Ball Heroes. It looks pretty much exactly the same. Uh, Dragon Ball Heroes gave Gohan Super Saiyan 4. I just want you to, to let that kind of sink in that Gohan actually got a lot of love in Heroes. I mean, he's, he's coming back with the new movie and everything, but um, big shout-outs to Urgen for actually creating this Xeno Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, which is probably my favorite version of him. I don't know what it is about the pants and his, his like, shoes. He's got such nice dress clothes, but he's got, like, the furry, like, <laughs> ripped part at the top, and his hair is... Huge. Look at how big the fucking bang is, bro. It's, it's, it's gargantuan. And uh, as always, shout out to uh, my boy, Diego, for actually creating this version of him. Now, uh, I'll probably showcase this version just because it's cool because he transforms. So this has, like, all his transformations. So he goes in the Super Saiyan 4, so that'd be pretty cool. And we also had to do Broly. So shout out to Ted for actually creating uh, probably the best Super Saiyan 4, just regular black-haired uh, form of Broly. He's so fucking big that you can't even see his head. <laughs> so, uh, before we get into this, guys, do me a massive gargantuan favor. Smash the like button. That would be so freaking amazing, and I would truly, really appreciate it. Plus, shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content here on the channel, as well as continuation of the mod series, and uh, more like, I don't know, Heroes expansion packs like this. This is going to be a big video. Uh, all of them have, I think, pretty much custom movesets, except for Broly, and uh, we have a ton of really, really cool skills. I'm not going to go over every single one, just because uh, there's a lot. So let's just, let's just do the showcase. Alright guys, we have, uh, I guess, Grandfather and Grandson Super Saiyan 4. Now, there is one game, I believe, that actually uh, makes use of integrating the Super Saiyan 4 characters from Dragon Ball Heroes, which was Broly, and I believe Gohan. They were in Extreme booted in as support characters, which I thought was pretty cool. But real quick, uh, I, lo I love the Gohan that actually does transform. Now, he has, he has like a million different forms. He's got like four, okay, not a million, but he's got like four forms. So I do want to at least showcase those real quick. So his skills and everything are pretty much from JBM. Uh, for the most part, there's nothing too special with it. I mean, I mean, they look, they're custom and they look really cool, but I gotta showcase uh, the Super Saiyan transformation. So, here's your standard Super Saiyan. Looks really good. Love the new auras and everything. Shout out to Shikara for that one. Yeah, this is your basic Super Saiyan 1. Now, if we go and we transcend to two key bars, boom, we got Super Saiyan 2, which actually gives him a brand new custom hair. Well, not really custom, but uh, Super Saiyan 2 
Team Gohan's here, which is actually pretty cool. I like that there is hair change. Uh, Diego, he comes through. So now we have Super Saiyan 3. So Super Saiyan 3 is actually, if I'm not mistaken, an actual form that Gohan uses in Dragon Ball Heroes. Now, uh, I don't know how often they showcase this. I think Future Gohan and I want to say Xeno Gohan has it. I could be wrong, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've seen what uh, Super Saiyan 3 looks like on, on the other characters. I know Trunks has it, so of course we have to go Super Saiyan 4. It looks really, really cool. I love the battle damage ripped part of the gi at the top. We have a fully functioning moving tail. Uh, I have no idea why his icon turns into Bardock's icon. It doesn't really make any sense, but <laughs> we'll just roll with it, alright? We'll just roll with it. So, this Bardock's really cool because it does have Limit Breaker integrated. Now, Gohan and Bardock, they don't have Limit Breaker. They never got it, but eventually I think they will. So, let's go ahead and check out the moveset here. So, I believe, for the most part, I think actually his moveset is the normal Bardock moveset, which, I mean, uh, it... Custom movesets are cool, but they're not always like, you know, necessary to have. I mainly want to showcase the skills or whatever, but looks like that doesn't actually connect at all. I wonder if it's because I have like a million different mods installed. Let me actually see here. Hold up. Could be the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a feeling, but yeah, you guys know. It, it's it's not custom. It's Bardock's normal moveset that he always usually has. Uh, let me see if I can actually land that one. Yeah, it, 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 it's a little bit wonky, okay? It, probably because I have some mods on here that are installed that, I mean, he's not supposed to have. But let's go and try out the uh, the Dragon Spear. Oh, hey, look at his tail, bro. Okay, so this is a expanded mod. This one looks really cool. I believe it has the timed input thing, which is actually pretty dope. Here, hold on. Let me actually do it. Let me see if I can land it. His tail. <laughs> look at... Ah! Dude, they look like a, like a walking sticker, like a fucking cane, bro. So yeah, this is what happens whenever you install mods that they're not supposed to have, but it's for it's for the custom showcase, all right? So let me see if I can actually land. The timed input is really weird. There it is! That is so sick. So he gets like this crazy like burst aura of like a flaming aura. It, 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 it's actually dope, but whenever you actually land it, you kind of see it. It does like a slow motion effect or whatever, but let me go and get the key to Unlimited. I'm gonna keep Gohan in that form there. I want to land it one more time because it looks so cool. The timing is very hard because of how quickly it comes out, but I mean, you, you guys saw... You guys saw what it does. Okay, now we have the final Revenger. I believe this is a JBM skill. Yes, okay, so this one usually glitches out, I think. Let me see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. It still glitches out. Now, this is a very old mod, so I wasn't expecting it to work. <laughs> Yo, you'll screenshot this right here and send it to me. So, so Tokyo Tree is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of popular Japanese candy and snacks, while Sakurako is a monthly Japanese subscription box full of authentic, traditional Japanese snacks from Japan's local artisan snack makers. Both are delivered straight from Japan to your door. Tokyo Tree and Sakurako's boxes come with a different theme every month, keeping things exciting and fresh. If you want to enjoy pop Japanese snacks, you can choose the Tokyo Treat Box, but if you want more traditional Japanese treats, you can enjoy Sakurako instead. If you're a bit intimidated on what's included in these boxes, don't worry at all. A booklet is provided within each box explaining every snack included, and there's a lot of informative Japanese culture that you can actually learn from each booklet. So a couple of my personal favorite treats from both boxes, uh, they had a lot of different ranges. So uh, obviously the Kit Kat from the Tokyo Treat Box was actually really, really good. These are in particular the Strawberry Milk Kit Kat. So uh, I mean, overall, whenever it comes to Tokyo Treat, I think they always usually include some type of Kit Kat in there. Uh, I mean, from the ones that I've had in the past. And as you can see, they're, they're so cute. They come in these like little tiny packages and stuff. And um, I don't think I've had the strawberry milk one. I think I had a cherry blossom one and a, I want to say it was like uh, coffee or something. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, they're like really creamy. You can tell there's, you know, obviously milk in it and everything. But uh, I also like these. Uh, I just call them Pocky. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> so uh, I don't need to explain how good this is. I'm pretty sure you guys have had Pocky before. Generally, it's uh, just like, you know, chocolate cover. Any type of flavor 
there's like strawberry vanilla uh they're like little crackers rice crackers or whatever now we get into sort of like the 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 more creative oddball stuff that i was not expecting and this is coming from the sakurako box now these had like things that it kind of intimidated me because i didn't know what any of it was because i haven't seen it before i kind of had a feeling i knew what this was so these are some shrimp and mayo crackers i think these are actually really good they come in their own little separate packages as you can see but those are pretty cool uh i was not expecting those to be enjoyable but i i do i mean i do like rice crackers it's just that i i wasn't i was kind of unsure of what it was and then we have this right here which is tea i actually really like this tea uh, i brewed one uh, a few days ago or whatever just to try it and uh, i mean it's tea tea is tea is good and then i also really enjoyed these right here which i think this these are strawberry uh like chocolate crackers as well so most of the stuff i mean chocolate strawberry and if it's a type of cracker i liked it <laughs> tokyo tree and sakurako have an insane variety of snacks you can go from things that are more sweet like the kit kats or something more savory like the mike's popcorn so i think i'm gonna try me some mike's popcorn and i'll see you guys in the next one So, T Pose Gohan. Shout out to T Pose Gohan. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Look, Gohan's like, ah! What the fuck? That is so weird. I don't know what that shit is, bro. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think the finisher, it, it just looks like Revenge Assault or whatever. But we also have the Raging Will, which, oh, I love this skill. The Raging Will is so sick. So, you can, like, do, like, some sick ass combos and then go for that Lariat. And that's what he does in Dragon Ball Legends or whatever. Because, you know, the Lariat is always part of what this man's got. So. He's gonna have his super back jump. Uh, this is grab one. Okay, yeah, he's got the normal dragon throw and everything. Uh, Revenge Assault. Now, curious to see if this one works. I believe this was from Dexio, if I'm not mistaken. This is a very old mod as well. That one's really cool. So, for some reason, uh, it doesn't actually... I, again, depends on how many mods you have installed and if the .cmn uh, gets screwed up. If you, like, you know, installed, like, a new CMN animation. But the animation bit is actually imported from Dragon Ball Legends. It looks really cool. And that's basically all it does. I mean, it's supposed to do damage. But uh, last thing that I got to showcase here is Avenger Blast. Now, you guys are going to love how this looks. Check this out. All right? Check this out. Shout out to the Expanded Team and Abyss Walker. Look at that! He transforms into Limit Breaker and then does the blast. And now, uh, what this was initially supposed to do was make a uh, God Bardock mod go into Super Saiyan Blue. Now, I know the aura is, like, you know, wacky and ridiculous and everything. And, you know, that doesn't make any sense. But it looks cool. It actually looks really, really cool. Now, uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 would never do something as cool as this. But um, we do get the more integrated, powerful, you know, moves, which is really cool. So all the new uh, skills that he normally would have has been altered and improved, which I very much like. So uh, this should actually give him, yep, the two-handed like prominence flash blast which is really dope and then he reverts back into his base form but i can also use his custom transformation i believe from grins which actually gives him the limit breaker aura and everything if you are a fan of that now all his skills still get the power up of the transformation which is still really really dope which i like so there you have it there is the bardock showcase i really really want more super saiyan 4 characters in this game i think it'd be really nice but this version of gohan actually does have a custom move set and it should connect just fine which is pretty cool so i'll go ahead and showcase that one but we also have the broly that i do want to showcase at the very end here as well but i gotta do the move set just because i believe diego did make a like transforming sort of move set which i gotta respect that i get you gotta show appreciation it's so weird seeing that bardock super saiyan 4 bardock's thing is right there bro like why so i think that is it should be the five hit combo and then the triangle square if i can actually pull this one off here yeah, he's got a couple of extra hits in there just a burst dash into the kick so uh pretty standard stuff he's got some gohan strings i think he's got like krillin strings or tn strings in there which are pretty cool and of course you gotta have the classic dragon throw and everything as well now for the skills we're getting fancy so we have the dragon flight crash from jbm love this skill it goes for an elbow at the very end which is pretty cool standard kamehameha but you gotta have it you know it's always a staple for these type of characters whirlwind combination love this one dude yeah yeah it goes hard kind of reminds me of uh super saiyan 4 goku what he does in dragon ball legends as well so 
Got our max charge, spirit explosion. Uh, I think both of these, yeah, both of these are from JBM as well. We have the potential rush, which this is potential Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. I'm fusing skills together, bro. My man Bardock was laying on his side. Did y'all see that shit? <laughs> I, I always welcome glitches because they're always a lot of fun. All right, Gohan's Burst Rush. This one's dope as well. He goes for the full combo moveset that he does in the uh, you know original series and everything. And it has that crazy effect at the very end there too, which is you know, always pretty badass. But now we're Potential Unleashed Super Saiyan 4. So we have Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 and Potential Unleashed Super Saiyan 4. So that's pretty badass. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to uh, Broly just because he's the last one that I just kind of threw in there last minute. So let's do it. All right, y'all, last little showcase here for the Super Saiyan 4 Broly. Now, honestly, I don't know... How often that they want to, you know, add, I guess, Broly type characters. We recently just got Kale. We got, uh, you know, uh, DBS Broly from DLC 8 and everything. I think Fury Broly or at least some type of black haired Broly would be nice. And Super Saiyan 4 Broly does have black hair, okay? So it does work out. He is just your normal DBZ Broly. Now, I'm very surprised Hero does not actually have a DBS Super Saiyan 4 Broly yet. I think eventually they're gonna do that just because it's it's fucking Broly. Broly gets every transformation, you know, in the book. But we got the gigantic dragon dance. He's got his normal DBZ Broly move set. Uh, I kind of just got a little bit creative and fun with it, which I like. Uh, we have the gigantic Big Bang, which is just a green version of it from Revamp Team. Uh, gigantic Slam is always a classic that I think uh, I, I rarely use, but it's just such a good skill. It looks cool, and only Broly can use it. You know, Cax can't use that normally unless you use mods and everything, which is quite unfortunate, but I like the Gigantic Slam. I like moves that, like, you know, pick up the characters, like, by the head or something. Like, you know, crazy stuff. Like, with Topo, his, uh, his, his uh, destructive whatever it's fucking called. I already forgot the name of the move. I'm really bad with moves. You guys know. Uh, Gigantic Meteor. Uh, because it is DBZ Super Saiyan 4 Broly, I had to keep that one on there just because, you know, it's faithful to DBZ Broly. And, of course, Gigantic Crusher. Now, this is a DBS Broly skill. It's one of my favorite mods for a Broly, and I, I just have to use it. It's always so good. So, uh, really nice stuff there. Uh, last thing that I got to show is that just, you know, the, the Time Patrol Gohan and everything. He looks really, really nice and everything. I guess I'll... Uh, let me just see what happens if I go Super Saiyan 4 Limit Breaker. He's not supposed to have this, but what happens? Yeah, <laughs> dude, is that Super Saiyan 5? Holy shit. Yo, new Super Saiyan transformation. This is what Dragon Ball Heroes is going to look like in 2027, all right? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. All right. We're not doing that, but there you have it. Uh, that is the main showcase. I want to see more uh, Super Saiyan 4 type of characters in this game. We're just more Heroes integration. Look at that. Look how screwed up the dits get. Oh, my God. All right. Let's go in the verses. He says, you idiot. Alright guys, we have Super Saiyan 4 Bardock Xeno version versus Xeno Gohan. We have to throw the Xenos in there, you know. I like how this game is called Xenoverse, yet it's lacking in all the Xeno, like, variations of characters, which is, like, really, really weird. But, yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know why it, it's, it's like that whenever they... <laughs> <laughs> they make this game and they're like, oh yeah, we're not gonna have all the Xeno shit and everything. But I like this form for Bardock. It looks really, really sick. So Xeno Gohan is just gonna sit there. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, bro. Here, should I just go Limit Breaker? <laughs> he tried to do a Kamehameha on me, dude. Oh, that's so good. Milkman did a really nice job on it. Now, I will have to say, I think I just like normal Super Saiyan 4 over the Limit Breaker form. I feel like the Limit Breaker form is just it's just a bit too much. It's cool. But it's just like, man, it, it... Oh, my God. Did he just transform? Rip! <laughs> He's not supposed to transform! I love whenever the mods transform, but not whenever the Gohan looks like that. He's, he ain't supposed to look like that, so... Now he's got a Keyblade? What the hell is happening, bro? Hey, we actually landed it this time. Before, it didn't land. So, there you go. We, we got the landing on it. All right, let me try the Avenger Blast since he's just gonna... Okay, I thought he was just gonna sit there. Oh, shit, son. Oh, my God. He is doing a lot of damage. Now, Avenger Blast actually be doing big-ass fucking, like, key. <laughs> it takes up a lot of key, dude. All right, let's try this out. Let's see if we land it. Do not get out of the combo. I swear to God. Nice. 
That was a clean finisher. For whatever reason, I tried to do that a couple of times, and he he kept getting out of the combo itself. I was like, how the fuck did he do that? Like, and even with the evasive, like it, it just like it was like disconnecting completely. I didn't know what was going on. But there you have it, my friends. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this showcase. I love Super Saiyan 4. I think we definitely deserve more Super Saiyan 4 love. If anything, I mean, give us at least the Xeno versions of these characters. Like, they look so freaking cool. Like, I love the Xeno girl, honey. He's amazing. And you know, Broly, obviously. Look at, look at him, bro. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, ring my notification bell. Support the modders down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is Broly. And you are watching Slow Plays. Make sure to subscribe. Or else I'll destroy your entire planet. <laughs>